Hey there everyone, it's Aish here, back again with another video and welcome to our 8th app. Can you believe we have reached so far into the series that now we have built all the basics, now we want to explore the functionalities which are being provided by the phone itself. Like one of them is playing music, the sound functionality. Now there are a lot of ways to handle sound in the mobile apps, there are a lot of packages for that as well. The packages which are specific for the sound and playing of that, packages which are specific for just playing a special sound like ting, tong and notification, all of that. Uh, we'll be focusing on building an app inspired by Spotify. Of course, it's not going to be fully fledged featured as Spotify, but uh, kind of a mix of it. Now, this is the app that we'll be building up. So here is the music. I have to actually show you the music because it's running on my actual device. Uh, so hopefully uh, you can hear the music a little bit. Watch this closely. So this ends this and automatically this starts the next music. So that is one thing that we are going to learn about. This is the life cycle event and don't you worry about the music. I have the licenses of all these music. So no, YouTube is not going to put any copyright on that. I do have license of all of that. Now these musics and the artworks are different. They don't match. These are artwork from Hindi movies. And the music that we play is from Spanish, uh, mostly Spanish uh, side of the and the Latin side of the music. I do have license. I'll give you these musics to play around as well. Uh, but I'm not transferring the license. You can use it for just for uh, educational purpose and testing the apps only. You cannot publish these apps on any store with this music. I do have exclusive license for my YouTube channel only. But it's okay that if you use them for just educational purpose and learning the things. So that's okay. Uh, so we're going to learn a lot of components onto this one that how we are actually bringing this art which is coming up from a CDN. Uh, of a music website so we are actually using this just for educational purpose we're also having uh, this art label and some uh, this again coming up from a url and a specific uh, array and then we have this slider which actually runs as the music so we have to continuously keep a track of progress of how much the sound is being played and automatically keeps on moving there now this particular package that we are using has a bug on android i'm pretty sure they'll fix it in the future this works flawlessly on iOS, but on Android, it gives a tiny bit hiccup, which is mentioned on their repository and a couple of other places. I'm pretty sure they'll resolve it soon. Also, we are keeping a track of how much song is being played and how much it is remaining there. We have the next, uh, not next, the previous one. Uh, we have the next one and we have the play and the pause button that we'll be playing around. You can explore more of this package and can work on with that. That is absolutely amazing. And again, based on changing, we are creating a screen and all of that. So this is going to be an absolutely fun app. Uh, go ahead and give it a try. Maybe do a little bit of research that how and why we want to include this package, which is the best package available. At least a little bit of research. Maybe you will find four or five good packages. You can write a Hashnode article about it that, hey, I found these five exploratory uh, packages on NPM for React Native to handle the music in the component. So that will be really nice. So I'm super excited to build this app with you. Let's call this as mini Spotify clone. This will give you a great idea about how you can handle music uh, in the mobile apps, both in iOS and Android using React Native. So it's going to be a fun app. Uh, go ahead and give it a try uh, before me. In the next video, we'll start breaking down the components because we have a lot of components in this app. So we'll break them one by one so that they are reusable, high quality code that we have to write. It's a pretty fun app. I'm very excited about this. Hope you are. If you are, hit that subscribe button. Share this series with your friends that, hey, we are putting up so much of effort. The best series on the internet for React Native, absolutely for free. Again, big shout out to Hashnode for making it possible. Let's go ahead and catch up in the next video.